Breaking news. Why we enforce strict measures against Nigerians, others, China. The Chinese government on Tuesday explained why it resorted to strict measures against Nigerians and other Africans stranded in Guangzhou, China. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Zhu Pinjian, said the prevalence of the COVID-19 disease among foreigners, especially Nigerians and other Africans, necessitated the actions. He explained that the Nigerians and other Africans were found to be more vulnerable given the number of those tested positive to the virus. The envoy, however, agreed with Nigerian's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Geoffrey Onyema, that the measures deployed to contain the, the importation of COVID-19, which led to the mistrust, were not properly communicated. Ping Jian and Oyema briefed journalists on the alleged maltreatment of Nigerians stranded in China in a video which has gone viral. The envoy said according to the current statistics of the outbreak of the COVID-19 in Ganzhou, Nigerians and other Africans were most vulnerable, hence the measures were meant to protect them. He said that the Chinese has zero tolerance for discrimination. Besides, he said Nigeria is a good friend of China and therefore would not do anything to destroy the relationship. So my people, that's the news reaching us. Um, just in case you're just meeting us for the first time, this is Speak Network. And also please do give us a thumbs up to let us know that you appreciate what we're doing and also subscribe to this channel. So let's go back to the news. Um, yes, the Chinese government has said that, um, one, the first thing they said is that Nigerians are and other African countries are the most vulnerable. I quite agree. Okay, if you say that we are most we come back to being most vulnerable. But if you say that we are most vulnerable, the Africans, the Nigerians there are most vulnerable, what is the right proper action to take? Because don't forget, Nigerians, Nigeria, there are Chinese in the country. And also there are there are different people in different locations of the world. Now, if they are most vulnerable, is it a time to send them out of the country? No, that's not that's not a proper measure or the proper way to ever do or ever treat any citizen of any other, other country. Now, are they supposed to start driving Nigerians or Africans out of the country when the coronavirus is prevalent in their country? That's absolutely unacceptable because... We they are supposed to come up with a major to see that okay, all the foreigners in the country stay put, no other foreigners should be coming out or going in so they can contain the virus within their community, within where they are. If there's a lockdown in the community, then all Nigerians and all everybody in the community has to be locked down. All right, not that is total discrimination. The, the, the Chinese government to say they have zero tolerance for, for, for discrimination. That's not correct. Because if you, we Nigerians, when um, this outbreak of this coronavirus started, we didn't have to send foreigners away from our country. We have any measures that will be taken for a Nigerian would also apply to any other person in the country as at the time. So I don't understand what the Chinese government is saying that, oh, they have zero tolerance for discrimination. And also they are driving, they are asking Nigerians and other Africans to go out of their country because they are most vulnerable. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm not sure if they actually thought about this defense before um, I'm rolling it out. I'm not sure if they actually did that because they are supposed every measure that is that is taken for a, a Chinese to be free of COVID-19 is the same measure that is supposed it's a pandemic. This is a pandemic. It can it can it can affect anybody. It doesn't matter where you are. So countries are taking necessary measures to make sure that their citizens are safe. The same way China is supposed to make sure that the, cities, the, the, the Nigerian citizens in China also follow the same measures, not sending them out of their country. 
And also they said that Nigerians or Africans are most vulnerable. Yes, they have the right to say that because why do I say that? Because the Chinese Nigeria owes the Chinese government a whole lot of money. They, they, they borrow from the Chinese government. The Chinese government now has even come to put their plants in Nigeria where they have their CCEC um, um, enterprise in Nigeria. You know, so at the end of the day, we are borrowing from there. We, we, we are their mercy. So they can decide to say, you know what? Everybody, uh, all Nigerians or Africans go back to your country because we owe them money. We borrow from them. So if we borrow from them, they are, they are more or less in charge of even our country. You, you, you see the whole thing. And again, they feel that Nigerian, Nigerians are, 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 are most vulnerable because Nigeria is classed as a third world war country, unfortunately, and our government is not doing anything to, um, to, to alleviate us from that. And also, we are now the poverty capital of, the, of, 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 the, of, of, of all countries. Nigeria now has even overtaken India in poverty level. You see what the, you see what you see how the Chinese views Nigerians. So that's why they would have the guts, they would have the effrontery to say at this point in time, at this crucial time, Nigerians should go out of their country because they know at the end of the day, even the government of Nigeria cannot do anything. The government of Nigeria cannot say anything because if we take the same measures that they have taken now to say, you know what? In fact, in retaliating to this, all Chinese guys, all Chinese citizens in the country has to has to leave has to go for now all time in fact Niger the government nigerian government are taking nigerians for a ride because even as uh, them re removing nigerians from their country the same day the next day uh, chinese doctors are coming into the country that's 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 rubbing it on the faces of nigerians so at this point in time, Nigerian government has to now put out a statement out there, has to now retaliate to what is going on in China. Because our people in China, Nigerians in China, cannot be facing this level of persecu persecution and we are welcoming uh, Chinese doctors. It doesn't make sense. So we are appealing to the federal government. This is straight to the federal government the chinese government has said nonsense concerning what is going on so the government we urge you to now speak out chinese we have to take necessary measures that is what this this is the kind of things that the the, the united states the U, united kingdom these are the kind of things they do they make exchanges you cannot behave you cannot behave like that to a u.s citizen when you've got your citizen in his country it's not going to be it's not going to be funny it's not going to be nice anywhere in the world so nigerian government we're appealing to you right now we've seen the video everything has been put plain in the internet we want nigerian government to retaliate we want nigerian government to respond to what is going on to this nonsense that this um, chinese uh, government has said we want Nigerian government to retaliate. Nigerians, you open your eyes and see what is going on. So right now, it's up to us. Put your voice out there. Let's leave a comment in the comment section so that we can speak to the government. The government, they hear this. We can be out there to the government to know that our people in other countries cannot be treated badly and we, we welcome, we entertain their citizens in the country. Life has gone past all. The world is global now. You, anything you do can be seen around the world. So the Nigerian government has no reason to welcome Chinese, to do everything good to Chinese in our country, Nigeria. Meanwhile, they are driving our brothers. They are killing our brothers. They are, they are, they are, at this point in time, where, he, where everyone needs to be safe, our brothers are out there in China thinking of ways to come back into Nigeria and we are entertaining Nigerian government. See, they, we are appealing to the government. It's going to cause a chaos. If they don't mitigate this now, it's going to cause serious problems in Nigeria. So, my people, that's the news reaching us. Please do give us a thumbs up to let us know that you appreciate what we are doing, what, how we're trying to get the news across to yourself. Because we want all Nigerians to get the news firsthand as soon as they come to us. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do press the subscribe button. And also, press the little bell there just to notify you once we upload any news. We try our best to make sure that all news across Nigeria, we get them firsthand to yourself. Thank you very much, my people. Please do leave your comments in the comment section. Until we meet again, bye for now. God bless you.